Guggenheim wanted to make a difference, and uh, we, we talked about it, and we thought women in tech was a good workforce issue. There it really is a workforce gap in that regard, and so we do want more girls and young women heading into tech. Um, so we thought that was a way to go, and we were doing lots of things, we're st sponsoring robotics championships, STEM days for girls, uh, middle school girls, and uh, we're putting right now we're putting women through coding academies, we're putting women through Ivy Tech, but we also, is there something else out there? And so uh, talking with another former LPJ pro here in the city named Allison Duncan, she wanted to do this, and I just put these things together and said, why not an Indie Women in Tech LPJ Championship? And um, Dan of uh, Dan Towers from Guggenheim said, hey, that's a good idea. Let's look into that, and we did. It made a lot of sense uh, on a lot of different levels, and now we get to highlight it, and the proceeds will go to putting more women through career transition training and put more women in tech. It's a little bit different audience, but it's because this is a broad discipline, if you will, that, that we need to get more people engaged in, and we have to realize that there's a huge workforce gap, and this is a way to bring visibility to all of this. And so uh, we're kind of putting two different or three different worlds together on this one in, in particular, but all of it goes to making sure that we have uh, more young girls interested in the STEM fields, and then we get more women into tech fields. And that's and, and the, the ability of the LPJ to do this, literally on a worldwide basis, is very important to us. Well, thanks for watching Inside Indiana Business on YouTube. For the latest statewide business news, be sure to visit InsideIndianaBusiness.com and subscribe to our free daily e-newsletters by clicking on the link.